can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given the semicircle, let's draw some segments like this, which is perpendicular to the diameter of the semicircle. Now, the length of the segment must be equal to 2 units, and the length of the segment must be equal to 4 units. Now, the distance between these two segments must be equal to 6 units. Now, the question is, what is the area of this semicircle? Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so, given this figure, our goal is to find the area of this semicircle. Now, how do we find the area of this semicircle? Of course, we have a formula, 1 half times pi r squared. Pi r squared is the area of the circle. And let's multiply this by 1 half to get the area of the semicircle. So the important thing here is we need to find the value of r or simply r squared. Alright, so to answer this question, what we're going to do is to locate first the center of the semicircle. And here it is. Next, from this point, let's connect the center to these two important points like this. Now we know from this point and to this point, the center of the circle, the measure of this segment must be equal to the radius of this semicircle. Now since all radius are equal, therefore, this other segment is also R. Now, from here, what we're going to do is to let this segment right over here be equal to X. Since the total measure of the distance of these two perpendicular segments is 6, so the measure of this segment right over here must be equal to 6 minus x. Now, we can now find the value of r. So what we're going to do is to use these two right triangles right over here. Here's the first one. And the second one is the other right triangle, of course. Now, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem to our first triangle, what we have here is r squared, which is the radius of this circle, or the hypotenuse of this right triangle, equals x squared, which is this side, plus 2 squared, which is the side length of the right triangle. Now, if we use the Pythagorean theorem to our second right triangle, we have something like r squared, which is the hypotenuse again, equals 6 minus x, which is 1 of its length, raised to the power of 2, plus 4 squared. Now, let's focus on these two equations. Now, take note that they are both equal to r squared. So, we can say that x squared plus 2 squared must be equal to 6 minus x squared plus 4 squared. Because again, they are both equal to just x squared. Now, let's solve for the value of x. Alright, so first thing to do is to simplify first. This 2 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 4. 6 minus x raised to the power of 2, this is simply equal to 6 minus x. Multiply by 6 minus x, and if we multiply this, we get something like 36 minus 12x plus x squared. And 4 raised to the power of 2, this is just 16. Now, what we're going to do is to subtract x squared on both sides. So, x squared on the left side and the right hand side becomes 0. Next, let's combine similar terms. 36 plus 16, this will give us 52. And now, let's subtract 52 on both sides. 4 minus 52, this will give us negative 48. Then divide both sides by negative 12 to get the value of x. Negative 48 over negative 12, this will give us 4. So we know that the value of x is just 4. And take note, our goal here is to solve for the value of r squared. Now, r squared is simply equal to x squared plus 2 squared. We can use the first equation or we can use the second equation. But in this video, we will use the first equation to solve for the value of r squared. Alright, so r squared equals x squared plus 2 squared, and we know the value of x must be equal to 4. So we can replace this x with 4. Now let's simplify. 4 squared must be equal to 16, and 2 squared must be equal to 4. Now 16 
plus 4, this will give us 20. And that is the value of r squared. And take note that our goal is to find the area of the semicircle, which is equivalent to 1 half times pi r squared. We know r squared must be equal to 20, so we can replace this r squared with 20. Now, 1 half pi times 20, this will give us 10 pi. Therefore, the area of this semicircle must be equal to 10 pi square units. And that is the answer to this question. And as always, we are done.